everybody, this is Dr. Robert Berger, and I'm here today to talk a little bit about a subject that we have been talking about on and off along with the gastrointestinal system, but something that is extremely important, and this is called mucin. And of course, mucin is that particular type of substance that the gastrointestinal system, through right from the mouth all the way till the anus, has to produce in order to keep your cells healthy and to keep them protected, especially in the esophagus and the uh, stomach area and the duodenum area where of course you're going to have a low pH or a lot of hydrogen ion concentration or HCl acid production, which you have to have, but yet at the same time, it's very important that you protect your cells that are part of those systems from that very low pH. You want the HCL to attack food and to help with digestion and to ward off bacteria, so you really need that HCL. Yet at the same time, you don't want it attacking your organs. In other words, you don't want it attacking your esophagus. You don't want it attacking parts of your stomach, which most people think, how can it not attack your stomach? It's there. Well. That's because the stomach is lined with this particular type, very important substance called mucin. And of course, then you go into the duodenum where of course the pH starts to raise and become more alkaline and you've got to protect it. And of course, once again, you've got the same cells there called mucin. And to give you an idea of, if you kind of visualize the GI tract here from the you know, top to the bottom, you have cells, certain types of cells that produce mucin throughout the whole GI tract. They're called goblet cells. That's what they call goblet cells. And they're very, very important. And they look different in different parts of the, uh, the physiology. It depends if you're in the stomach or if you're in the intestinal tract. But they're all the same type of cell. And they do produce mucin. And what's very important also to know is in your stomach, you've got something called a gastrin, you know, gastrin gland. And the gastric gland is, there's actually four parts to it. There's an epithelial part, there's a part that produces pepsin, or pepsinogen, which of course is then converted to pepsin because of the HCL that's produced by something called parietal cells that are also in that gland. And then the fourth is the mucus gland. And the mucus gland is the one that produces the mucin. So it's always there. This is extremely important to have mucin. And unless all of your cells in your GI tract are covered by this mucin, what you're going to have is an attack by the low pH uh, chyme or the low pH HCL that is constantly there helping you digest food, of course, yet it's going to be touching or hitting onto those cells and of course, what you're going to have, unfortunately, is damage to either the cells of the esophagus or cells of the uh, stomach, the pyloric part, or the antrum, or any part. And then, of course, as you go into the duodenum, you really have to be protected because one of the major things we always hear about is a duodenum ulcer. And a duodenum ulcer is, occurs because that particular maybe two or three or four centimeters as you go into the duodenum, what's happening there is you've got a very low pH or an attack of acid on that part. And many times what you'll see with the duodenum ulcer is you'll see a hole. It looks like almost like a bullet hole or a huge burn that can actually go through the duodenum. And just think about it. What happens if all the substances that are in your stomach that are going to duodenum that are basically would be considered poisons in our body until they get through our GI tract, if they were to actually leak out of the duodenum into the peritoneal cavity. Well, what happens is called peritonitis. And peritonitis, you probably don't have very long to live unless you're at a hospital. And this is why duodenum ulcers are so deadly. And people die all the time of duodenum ulcers because they don't get to the hospital in time and they die of peritonitis. Peritonitis is like having a bullet wound in the gut. And so just remember that. But what is your savior here? 
your savior is mucin because mucin protects those glands. Mucin protects those cells. Mucin, you can think of mucin as a bulletproof vest as you're going into battle that will save your life in many situations. So that is very important. Remember what mucin is produced for. It's extremely important. Mucin is also called an amphoteric type of substance, which means that it can help bases, very weak bases, become more acidic and help very weak acids become more basic. In other words, it helps to, uh, it helps to contain that area and keep the right pH. And remember, once again, mucin coats that whole system and is very, very important. And please remember to go on uh, the website, drrobertberger.blip.tv to watch these uh, videos and get a lot of information. And until the next time, everybody have a great day.